Hey, how's it going, everybody? Um, welcome back to the second season of this um, Dwarf Fortress Pocket World uh, Conquest sort of challenge that we're doing here. Um, our In our first season, our first fortress ended up getting totally browned by some uh, big necromancer army of like over 200 undead of various sorts. Um, didn't stand a chance. Learned a bunch of lessons. Gonna give it another shot. Uh, and I found this Embark site. I want to try this. Um, it'd be interesting. It's on a volcano. Um, but it's cold temperature. So fresh water might be a bit of an issue. Hopefully we can dig down. Um, put some water through some screw pumps. Get some fresh water that way out of the caverns. Um, but everything else seems pretty good, heavily forested, so we'll have plenty of, uh, of wood. Um, I am also noticing that, um, I don't think there are, are any elves on this map, or at least there's no contact with them, so they're not going to get mad at me for cutting down too many, um, too many trees, but, uh, yeah, let's, let's forge out from this location. And, okay, so salt water, but that's fine. We don't have that near us. Uh, Non-fish. Uh, that's fine. Whatever. Uh, let's embark. Sure. Unspent points are, are no big deal. That's whatever. Get into it here. Uh, let's take a look around. Uh, we have our volcano, which is um, is this open space? I'm just seeing where the the surface of the vol the volcano is. So this is the first layer of the lava. So it is right up against the edge right here. So it's not like we can have this all walled off. Um, I'm gonna zoom out for just a bit, just to see the generic lay of the land, and then we'll we'll zoom back in just so we can uh, we can see. All right, so a bit of a um, plateau up here. I think that would be a good spot to start building, and then go down a couple layers, just so we're not. Because um, what'll happen is if you um, we can zoom back in. Um, if you, um, I think that was, yeah, that looks like original. Um, if you, uh, chop down a tree and then mine out underneath where the wood, um, or the roots were, it'll leave a, um, like a hole in the, uh, in the roof and very easy to have, um, a hole in your, um, in your fortress for invaders to come in and you don't know because it, it's hard to hard to see. So probably don't want our farms on that level. Maybe down a little bit, maybe in here, although this looks like a I don't know, we'll see how this goes. Rhyolite. So that's stone. We might not have a whole lot of space for the farms themselves, so that might be not quite possible. Um, and we also want to think about where we're going to put a drawbridge, because being able to, we might do something with the, um, the volcano, being able to have a drawbridge and completely shut out your fortress from um, the rest of the like the outside uh, is I think our biggest mistake in the last episode um, I think is this ice meadow grass 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 do we have any source of water on the surface it's just scroll through real quick. I don't think so. No, so we have no ability. Oh no, we have a little bit over here. Um, 
over in this area. So that looks like that's going to be our farmland. Uh, just out of necessity. And that might be where we start um, cutting trees too. All right, so let's think about that. Um, that um, just thinking where a good drawbridge location would be I think if we had okay here's an idea have a um, a bridge going a ha, ha, this will be the the access point have a like a one wide bridge going over the lava and then um have a marksman's tower and they shoot bolts at the uh advancing army and they dodge and they dodge themselves into the lava um would mean that I wouldn't be able to recover any metals or anything, which stinks, but I feel like it'd be an effective base defense. Or a drawbridge that can be controlled to, um, to like, fall away. Yeah, so maybe... I can figure that out later. I just need to get underground, so I'm gonna go the boring route and just dig a downstair right here. I think that uh, we'll go up downstairs there. Yeah, that's fine. And then dig. Let's just get some rooms going. It's nice to, um, I don't know, not have a big plan and have everything, you know, go a bit more organically when you're building. So I'm going to get rid of those. And here we go, we can start in with that. Uh, we don't want to cut any of these trees right now. So let's start down here, I guess. Let's make a pen slash pasture over here. Turkey, There's a donkey, yeah, that's fine. Turkeys don't need to graze. Got some wild animals. Hopefully they don't bug us. That remains to be seen. It's raining, okay. Shop real quick. Uh, build a quick little plump helmet farm here too. Let's put some wood. 
good. Stockpile here. Getting this all set up uh, for plump helmets. Get just a little dormitory set up. Furniture stockpile here. Something like that. gonna just build up the um, like mess hall here so that's all the plump helmet spawn I get I guess some beds they can be in here that's fine thought I built another chair all right I guess I'll make another one Okay. Let's put some put a furniture stockpile here. Um, yeah, it'll work for now. Wait a minute. No. That is supposed to be a table. Right there. Table. There we go. Make that a dining room. 
It's not a location. Uh, sure, it's a meeting hall. Everybody hang out there. Dense cloudberries. I don't know what cloudberries are. But let's see. Um, I'm going to start digging a little more, I think. Uh, because we want a. We want a mason's workshop, and we want some a uh, craft store workshop, and we want stone to, to do that. So we're gonna do a little workshop area down here. Excuse me, six by six, just to make sure we can do um, two workshops side by side. So a total of four workshops per cell in here. Oh, but we need to dig a up down stair. I. We'll get moving on that. Rhyolite, I don't know what's significant about that. I'll take a moment now to just peek around and see if I can, oh. Now is this lignite? Tetrahedrite. Okay, so we have copper and silver, I believe. Tetrahedrite. Or maybe lead and silver. Okay. Cinnabar. Not useful. Cobaltite. Not useful. Let's see what else we have. Anything? Nope. Um... Yeah, tetrahedrite. Or tetrahedrite. I don't know if that changes if we go down a little bit. No, I'm not looking at a large slice of this, but hopefully it's not the same with just copper available, because basalt, no, that doesn't do anything for me. It's probably cinnabar, yeah. Well, this kind of stinks. There's no great metal anywhere, it seems, so far. That's unfortunate. Tetrahedrite. Yeah, it just looks like tetrahedrite. Well, at least we have a volcano and we can smelt it for free, basically. Uh, make some wheelbarrows. Bad 
Badgers. It's always Badgers, man. Well. That's okay. I'm actually going to remove this and... Remove this build a mason's workshop here and a craftsdorf's workshop here and then put a custom stockpile there for both of those workshops to feed off of. Start in with that. Our badgers get out of here. Gonna build a trade depot. It doesn't look like there's access to it. That might also be because it's not built yet. We'll see. Might need to cut some trees to the edge of the edge of the map. Side. Gonna go cloth, leather, and we're gonna go finished goods over here. I feel these badgers are going to be bugging me at some point. I don't know. There's a lot of them. Is this a... Weapons, our 
armor. I think is D. Yep. So the wagon can access the depot, which is good. Definitely what you want. Bins and barrels, always need some of those. those later. Dwarves have beds. It's just a little crowded. I will want to eventually build a wall around the top here. Around this entrance. Which will make the drawbridge plan a little bit easier. So, I know not a whole lot exciting has happened yet. We'll get there. Yeah, I'll get started on these bedrooms. This also gets me the stone that I need. This, um, this volcano scares me a little bit. You've seen me go over here and like check the animals list every now and then. Um, you can get magma crabs and I think magma men as well. And they spit fire and they will um, make your life miserable. So um, always, I guess, see when they... Um, and like they'll show up on the units list even though they're like 40 layers down and they're not in line of sight, but they do come to the surface every now and then. So um, I'm thinking a big risk right now is they might see um, my livestock over here and go over there and attack them and like start a big forest fire, or whatever happens, but they spit um, magma or lava or whatever, molten rock as a projectile weapon. which, um, yeah, can start things on fire, which things that are flammable tend to keep burning once, once they're on fire. So yeah, bad news. So. Check out the bedrooms. Those are still going. Okay. Um, 
feel like this is an okay time to, to call it. It's been about a half an hour, so um, next time we'll probably get a trader caravan. We'll probably get some migrants and uh, see how things shape up from there. Uh, until next time.